uh, called Gamble Gamble Two. Gamble Two is the name of the hack. Oh, let's check it out. Let's check it out. I have not played. I haven't played SMW in a few in like a few. What was it like two weeks or so? Not since I beat the Bean Hack. Has it been two weeks? It's been like over two weeks for SMW actually. Gamble Two. And this is by Jez Jitsu. Okay. Spell his name right. A Jez Jitsu. Yeah, it's been two weeks of no SMW. Played a lot. I played SMW yesterday. I don't think that quite counts. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. Do you play hacks people usually recommended you check SMW Central and look around? It really depends. It really depends. Um, a lot of times I'm like, hey, let me turn the volume up on this a little bit more really depends a lot of times i'll hear about hacks or like i'll know about them already because people usually uh are either they'll either like announce it or like a lot of times we know what's coming out right um uh in other cases uh, i also sometimes browse smw central waiting section and i find stuff there uh sometimes that makes like amazing levels like that's how i found moon uh on, that's how i found like me. inception so sometimes you find some really amazing hacks like that um, and then, you know, sometimes just something random shows up or I didn't get to it. This set came out like, like, uh, well, like maybe like a week or something ago, two weeks ago or something like that. And gamble I just, I just missed it. So, uh, there is a gamble one. I think I did play that. Yeah. I don't remember much about it beyond, I think the aesthetics of it, like it looks really nice. Think of, I don't remember too much about it, but I remember, I think I remember it being pretty goddamn good overall. So, uh, okay. I need this like here. Weird. Uh, all right. Gamble 2 by Jez Jitsu. My layout kind of sucks. Let's make it a little less suck. Black Attack, thank you for the 33 months. Thank you very much. Psycho Sakurai, thank you for the 56 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I don't even know how you keep track of what you played at this point. Well, Spider, there's the uh, flex sheet, which you can use that. There's a flex sheet that'll show you. Uh, I think the flex sheet's like, I want to say it's like 95% accurate. It's pretty accurate. I think I played Gamble. I never, I know I never played Gamble too. That just came out. Hopefully this is better than Mario, than Mario Doom. It's gotta be, man. Ain't, ain't, ain't no way it's worse. <laughs> ain't, ain't no way it's worse, dude. What's up, Riff Rob? How's it going? Happy Wednesday. Hope you have a good day. It's really well kept up to date. Yeah, yeah. I think there's some stuff it missed out on, but... Yeah, I heard about some TMNT game, but nah. Mario Doom was great. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Uh, was Mar Yeah, I beat Mario Doom yesterday. Beat Mario Doom yesterday. I beat that Doom while last confirmed. The final two levels are pretty bullshit. Bro, that whole fucking... I feel like level one is like, ooh, this is tough. And I feel like level two is right away into the bullshit. I feel like, but it kind of cools off after a while. And then like the last set of like seven or eight levels, man, is holy shit garbage. Do you have all the 3D Mario's left? Uh, let's say, why don't we take a look at the board? Take a quick look at the board. So left on the board is uh, the entire top row is gone. We have Bowser, uh, Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, uh, Mario Luigi Superstar, Mario 64 Crowd Control, Mario Odyssey, like all moons, like 100%, and uh, Super Mario Sunshine. That's what we have left. So that's what we got left. Uh, not too shabby. The Mario RPGs are going to take my ass a little while. Going to take my ass a little while. Those might be last, honestly. Those might be last. Maybe I'll maybe I'll like intersperse them or something like that. But uh, yeah, I also have Thousand Year Door. That's is that coming out in May? Is that come out in May, Chad? I think it comes out in May. Uh, thank you, Lack Tech, for thirty-three months. Psycho Sakurai, thank you, sub. Fact, Chibi Thulu, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Back-to-back -back RPGs will be bad. Chinese Mario deserves a run back. <laughs> yeah, I think I should split them up a little bit. I think I should split them up. All moons, one stream. I don't know if I could. I don't think I could do that, man. This act is gorgeous so far. It's only the title screen. Yeah, I, I think I should spread them out. Yeah, I'll. Don't worry, I'll spread them out. Uh, so I have I have an announcement coming uh, this Friday. Uh, it's gonna be a new thing. Uh, don't worry, chat. I saw so long for a long time. A long time. I'll, I'll cover this again on Friday. For a long time, I wanted to do changes to marbles. Like I wanted to like play with it and do something different and kind of change stuff up with marbles. Not because I thought there was something wrong with marbles, but I thought it could be improved. I thought it could be improved. People reacted kind of negatively to that. I think marbles will stay exactly the same. I think marbles is gonna stay exact same. I'm not gonna change marbles. We're gonna keep it as it is. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna introduce a new thing 
something new. So marbles will be kept exactly the way it is. We're gonna have a new thing uh, I'm going to introduce. You just have to wait and see what that is. You're gonna have to wait and see. It's not gonna be marbles will stay exactly the same, but I'm gonna add something new, completely separate to marbles, completely separate to marbles. So uh, we can, you can call it perhaps the marble sequel. Who knows? You're just gonna have to wait and see, but marbles is not going anywhere. Marbles is not going anywhere. No, I'm not ready to announce it yet. I got some extra work to do, so. Crowd marbles. No, marbles will still be around. Marbles will still be around. Marbles 2 Electric Boogaloo. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Tell us. You're just going to have to wait. It's going to have to wait. I don't know. I don't know why I would get rid of marbles because uh, the most recent marbles choice is actually pretty good. It was pretty good. Is he always full of hype with no gameplay? Well, dude streams, you're just going to eat those fucking words because let's go play this super difficult Kaizo hack. Insert coin. Where the fuck do I insert my coin? Where the hell do I insert my coin? Let's just press start. <laughs> I can't. I can't find where to put my coin in my SNES. All right, let's start it up. Do it. Mario never returned from his last venture. Rumors of a riddle crazed quizmaster echoed through the land. Was that something that happened in Gamble One? I can't remember. The gaff. A uh, pretty overworld. Pretty nice. I like the munchers in the overworld. Ooh, I like. I like the Bowser in the wall. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go here to the gaff. See what we got. Three world, three switch pallets. Find them and we'll find your brother. Bring it on. Auto saves midways and exits. Start and select to exit the level. Good luck, have fun. Okay. F1, F3 on the controller. So that's, okay, so that's world three. Let's go in order. Let's go world one. Let's go world one. Pine time. Oh, this is like, whoa, what's, hang on, I want to see that retry. Look at that, should I see the, the wavy, the wavy retry? I don't know why, dude, why is everything so, did I like damage my fucking ears? Everything is so quiet to me. I like damage my, I think I might have damaged my eardrums or something. <laughs> I don't know. Doom yesterday? Doom Mario was super loud. I almost wonder, you know what? Uh, hang on, let me beat this level real fast. I wonder if Doom fucked with my audio settings or something? Oof. Earwax and headphones. I wonder if like, maybe my headphones got fucked. Well, like I'm just as loud. Like my own voice is just as loud. That's pretty loud. Oh, he juked me. D Jedi, thank you for nine gift subs. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Hey, Mario. That big old 500 pound son of Blood pressure? Bowser just took well, wouldn't everything be quiet? Because Stone Toad is just as loud as normal. What about pants. this? Now I need you to touch your ass <laughs> inside <laughs> wouldn't those Wouldn't pants everything be quieter? And recover the stars with a little bit of jumping. What? A little bit of punching, what? And a little bit of ass whooping, what? To save Princess Peach and that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Toe said so. Ooh. Uh, Numu, thank you for the 2,500 bits. That sounds pretty normal to me. D Jedi, thank you for the gift subs. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, guys. I haven't played FMW. There you go. Just up the volume of everything by 1,000%. I don't think that's the best idea. I haven't played SMW for a few weeks. It feels weird to me after uh, we played two SMB3 hacks. Feels a little strange. Feels weird. Uh, well, everything else, I don't know. I think, I don't know what it is. Just feels weird. Is the game quiet to you guys? I feel like the game might be a little quiet. Ah. 
Blame. Yeah, it was also Mario Maker too, right? It's fine. Okay. I think it's all in my mind. Game is fine. Yep, all in my mind. Fair enough. Uh, uh. Okay, that was cool. That was cool. Ah, uh, okay, so... Got you. Do you have a separate volume knob for your headphones and not what we hear? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can jack shit up like crazy for myself, but you guys won't hear it. That is that is the slowest platform I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, so this is, uh, this is solid, right? Ooh, ah! Want to try a headset? Uh, I have, uh, Mav, I have a really nice pair of Sennheisers, but I would not hear a fucking, uh, a gasoline truck driving through a nitroglycerin plant. Like, I wouldn't hear a fucking thing in those. It's a fast platform. Sick reference, thank you. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay. The blessing. Was one of your babies crying loud in your ears? No, there no crying yesterday. Oh, by the way, Katie sent me a text. She sent me a text. The text says, "You were you were wrongfully maligned <laughs> for for the great key incident. <laughs> I was wrongfully maligned. You're goddamn right. I was." I didn't lose your keys. Okay, so I gotta stay on the uh, the top one. Come on, don't bullshit me. Uh, JJ Jabrams, thank you for the 19 months. Thank you very much. Thank you, QB Bob, for the 600 bits, man. Appreciate it, dude. What happened? Uh, so, Kate, uh, while well, I was, I was, you know, just, this just happened a few minutes ago. Um, Katie was like, uh, hey, do you know where you put the keys yesterday? You, like, lost them. I know, I know you, uh, it's because I, I took the trash out. And, or no, uh, you know what it was? She went strawberry picking. She took the girls to a strawberry farm. And they, they she just went out and had, like, a nice day with them. Uh, so I went to the car to go get the strawberries because she left them in the car. And, uh, he was like, where'd you put the keys after that? And I was like, well, fuck, I don't know. I don't remember. So I, I was like, oh, man, I guess I lost the keys. So we, we're going crazy downstairs looking for the keys because she's trying to meet a friend today. And she's like, they're going to have, like, lunch together or something, right? And she's getting really flustered. And she's like, I don't know. She's getting really flustered. Turns out I didn't lose the keys. Uh, she lost the keys. Uh, they were exactly where she left them. So, found them in the stroller where she put them yesterday. Mm. Uh. Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> Damn it. Hey, Stinky! Yeah, so it counts as me losing the... Yeah, it's still my fault. I legit was ready to believe that I was the one that lost the keys. I'm gonna start, you know what? We, we called you the wrong thing. You should be Kramer. Cause man, I can't keep your ass. You just bust right in. I can't see a fucking thing. We shouldn't have named you Snake. We should have named your ass Kramer. Cause I can't keep you out of here. <laughs> we should have named you Kramer. Uh, Disco Man Rules, thank you for the two months, thank you very much, come on, come on, get Rock and roll Come on, get Go, get Oh man, oh, man. it's like God You know, I love the cat, I love the cat on my desk I've got a lot of expensive, sensitive equipment on my desk That Small rodents are not particularly you know, like, having a small rodent scurrying around is not particularly friendly to it.
Cat is more important. Thank you, Disco Man. You just call your cat. I call them a fucking rat. <laughs> He's a one-eyed rat we save from the trash. Snake eats rodents. <laughs> no! That's exactly what he is. <laughs> he was on my face this morning, shoving his ass in my face, and it's like, I'm not... Like, go away. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me, man. <laughs> I want cat ass in my face. Bring back the cow kitty people riot. Uh, there we go. Did you? Uh, Fresh Prince Larry, thank you for the 34 months. Joshy, thank you for the sub. Appreciate That's that. Thank you very rat. much. Color palette looks very nice. Uh, thank you, Fresh Prince. Appreciate that. Thank you, Joshi. So it has a name. It had a name. Man, the original TMNT, dude, how fucking good is that movie? I love that movie. Cat things. Uh, I just watched episode five of Shogun. I want to ask how different it is from the book, if you recall it. Uh, it's been a long time since I've read Shogun and a long time since I've seen the original series. I feel like the way a lot of things happen happens differently in the book, in the show. Also, I feel like the character of John Blackthorn is, uh, I think that his character is the one that suffered the most out of everything, out of everything in the show, out of everything that they did. I think Blackthorn got kind of lost, unfortunately. How does Bob Marley like his donuts with jamming? It always has nice color palettes. You laugh at that, but one of my puns is like, oh my God, Omega cringe. <laughs> Almost as bad as my pun. Like he's like in his face, he's like point blank with the TV. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Go on. Can you go to your bed? Thank you. Hang on, let's see. Hang on one sec. One sec, chat. We turn on the cat cam. Here we go. Cat cam's on. Threw the pencil in the cat bed. Let's see if he goes for it. Ah! He's a very, very good boy, and we love him. The best rat you could ever hope for. Damn. I like this hack so far. What's up, uh, Solid Blake? How are you? Can you pet me? Can you see my tail? Uh, how about my butthole? Have a look for 15 seconds. He's loving the pencil. Big furry golden retriever, he's a stinker. When I was growing up, we had the most asshole-ish golden retriever ever. Like, he was like legit, he was like kind of mean, actually. <laughs> he was like actually kind of mean. Is he okay? Is who okay? Yeah, like, you think golden retrievers would be nice, but... Snake's fine. He's going crazy at the pencil. Uh, are both the blue and red buttons spin? Blue and red? Uh, hang on. Oh, you're talking about the input reader? Um, 
So this is this is uh run. This is run. This is also run right here. This is spin and that's jump. So spin, jump. So if you see me pressing this button, it's because when you're playing, uh, I kind of do it second nature. As you're playing an SMW hack, you kind of have to get used to swapping from one run to the other. Uh, you kind of have to get used to that. Especially compared to something like Mario Maker. I think that that's why if you see a lot of Mario Maker players who use the trigger, like if they're new to Super Mario World, you'll see them using the triggers. It's probably because they're not comfortable swapping run. Um, and it's not, swapping run is not like a hard thing at all. It's just, uh, it just takes time. Ah! Spin jump was on the R. Oh, that actually could be another thing. Maybe a lot of people's first experience with SMW is actually on the Game Boy Advance. That's an interesting idea. I keep thinking that that bubble is gonna bounce me. I'm thinking that's not. Uh, this is level two. Level two. Seems like a well-made hack so far. Enjoying it. Only just, only just started. So if you slow down there at all, the bubble spawns and you're dead. So you can't you can't slow down because uh, the, the this bubble is going off screen. Who chose the colors of this hack? I mean, I would assume Jez Jitsu, right? was a very forgiving up pipe. I feel like I should have been dead there. <laughs> the very forget. Oh, I think I need to. Okay, I see. This hack is super fun. Hmm. Uh, Angry Luigi, thank you for the 75 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Okay, I see. Did you like the Mario Doom mod at the end? Mm, visually great, great ideas, really funny. Really wish the levels were not like dog shit. Really wish the levels were not dog shit. I think like, I'd say like 60% of the levels were really fucking annoying. And not so much like the mechanics, just like enemy placement and like just like the way the enemies were was, was just very aggravating. So, yeah, too much. Uh, thank you, Angry Luigi, for 75 months. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you, Angry Luigi. Classic Doom. Bro, it was so much harder than Classic Doom. It's not even close. Hmm. Oh my god, Arch Vials in every fucking level. Oh my god. If level one had like two arch files. <laughs> they only add more and more in as time goes on. say I invented it. I feel like I invented the bubble level. I don't want to say I invented it, but I kind of did. I saw this spread on SW Central. I made the two different kinds of bubbles with the different colors. I don't want to say I invented it. I invented it, though. I'm saying it. And yeah, other hacks had it, but I also I also made that bubble level. I made that bubble level on stream all I'm saying, man. And other people were like, hmm. Apparently you beat the mod on Ultra Nightmare. Changing the difficulty didn't work, Barb Shrug. Wait, what? That can't be true. Why do people keep hiring J.J. Abrams? Oh! You invented this. I invented this. 
Uh, QB Bob, thank you for the 600 bits. Darbosh, thank you for the 34 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Are my arms sore from stroking myself? Yeah, I'm getting a good workout stroking myself here. I'm getting a little good workout. It's kind of nice. Well, no, I started the complete over. It's an issue with that Doom mod. That can't be right. Didn't you make the portable warp pipe item? No, actually, I didn't. But uh, the portable warp pipe, um, that was a cool level, by the way. That was a cool level. The portable pipe, uh, there was actually a, a line of code in it that was, like, fucking busted. And actually, uh, so when I was using it, I had D to the 4th and Kaizo Man look at it. And they actually fixed the code on that pipe. So we actually took that. It was like, it was a great idea, but the code was kind of rough on it. And uh, we actually like repaired it. So it's actually better now than it used to be. So um, yeah, but I, I, other levels had used the portable pipes before. Uh, Darbosh, thank you for the 34 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I built the SNES from scratch in a cave. Giving back to the community. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if the fixed version is on SMW Central, actually. I'm not sure about that. That actually, uh, I, I don't know if the creator could be contacted or not, but. Uh, Klaus Fabric, thanks so much for the 56 months, dude. Thank you very much. Oh, Dean the Fourth and Kaizo Man and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Dan the VP, Composer. They're all awesome, dude. They're all super awesome. No, uh, yeah, so in, uh, in Grand Pool 2, I wanted to use the screen wrap. And uh, this is kind of funny. I wanted to I wanted to make a screen wrap level because I wanted it to be like almost kind of a weird shout out to Kamikaze Bros when I was doing that. And uh, at the time, screen wrapping was broken. It was not working in SMW at all. It's completely broken. Uh, so when I wanted to do that, I was like, hey, Kaizo Man, can you take a look at that? Like, you know, and, and maybe we could fix it. Kaizo Man fucking fixed it up. No problem. That actually that actually affected Invictus as well, because in, this is before Invictus came out. So Kazuman also fixed that for Invictus because Invictus also has a screen wrap level. So yeah, like Kazuman ended up fixing screen wrap. I mean, Kazuman's the one that should get the credit, not me, but um... What the fuck? What's up, real Codus? How's it going, dude? Uh, oh, whoa! <laughs> uh, we just started, just started. Shit. Okay, maybe a little blind here, that's okay. <laughs> maybe slightly blind. I'm the Thomas Edison. I don't think calling somebody Thomas Edison is a compliment. Oh, I see. All right. What's up, Tasty Mew? How are you? Good afternoon. Feels good to be playing uh, SMW again. Uh, nice take a break. Nice take a break. We could all we we all need a little bit of a break there. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh the fuck is this? All my homies hate Thomas Edison. I had a book as a kid on Thomas Edison. It was one of my favorite books. I didn't realize Thomas Edison was like a gigantic douchebag. I had no idea. No clue. Oh, I'm actually not sure what to do here. We'll figure it out. So whenever I do that, I lose... I also lose Yoshi there. I also lose Yoshi. I don't think I'm supposed to lose Yoshi. Hmm. Old school command and conquer. Which one killed an elephant? Killed an elephant. What's that on-off switch doing? Edison killed an elephant? Uh, I don't know about that. I really just want to see what this on-off switch is doing.
Lost is bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Something like that. Crazy. We got to drop him to the right. Uh, Guaus then. Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime. Dracula, thank you for the 27 months. Really appreciate that. You meant the uh, let's try to prove that Tesla's solution for electric transportation is dangerous. I don't know that much about Tom. I don't think that was in my children's book on Thomas Edison. <laughs> I don't think they mentioned that in the children's book. In the abridged version. Ready. I gotta be I gotta go faster and I gotta be ready. Okay. This is cool. Ah that was cool. <laughs> like that. You thought my SMW break was gonna be longer? It was like uh, two weeks. It was like two weeks of no SMW. So, like Kamikaze Bros, Rift Bros, you fucking name it. We played a lot, and there's a lot of new hacks out. A lot of new hacks out. Yeah, that was cool. I like that there's a graphic for Luigi being on. I like that there's a graphic for it. So they went the uh, the extra mile there. Uh, have I finished the checklist? No, no, we're uh, we're getting closer though. Getting closer. I still have like all the 3D Mario's to do. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm, so I gotta go back and drop down. Okay. When's the next Doom hack? Oh shit, okay. We have some kind of incent in incentive for you not to 100% sunshine. <laughs> hmm. Yes, please. You like the muted color palette on this one? fucking beg you oh was that a falling spike is that what that was oh i, I couldn't tell i couldn't tell man <laughs> what the hell happened to me there oh there was the timer that got me oh was it the timer Arch files cannot resurrect other arch files. Damn it. Uh, hack has a fast retry. Uh... I think you're really good at this. My balls are clapping. Your balls are clapping. Impressive. That sounded better in Italian. 
All right, Kiavik, Kiavik. I have an important question. Can we all agree that Kiavik would be an expert on spaghetti? Can we all agree? If there was going to be somebody who was a spaghetti expert, let's all agree that it's Kiavik, right? I have a question for you. No? I made some amazing assassin spaghetti. Who else if not? Kiavik, you're making a package of spaghetti. Like a, like a full serving of spaghetti. And you've got the water. How much water do you put in for a full pack of spaghetti? How much water do you put in? Like a full regular package of spaghetti. How much water do you put in? What's, Chad, how much is like a normal pack of spaghetti? Like, you know those little boxes? How much is that? It's a pound. Is that a pound? Ooh. Man, I keep, I keep like just missing it. You can drain the water after the water doesn't matter. Doesn't the water matter though? You can have too much. You can have too much. Dark Souls 2. You don't calculate you the water. You don't calculate the water. I feel like there is such a thing as having too much water in your pasta. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I did set my spaghetti on fire recently, so maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> so maybe I'm and maybe I'm incorrect. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. You boil in the bathtub? I'm an idiot. Uh, how much, how did you manage to do that? Uh, Zortex, thanks for the sub. Is that even possible? Okay, so I have my spaghetti. You know, I put spaghetti in the pot. A little bit was sticking over the side. The fire was, the, the pot wasn't exactly on the burner, so the fire was going up the side of the pot. And I looked over my spaghetti's on fire. However, however, ignoring the fact that I set my spaghetti on fire, it tasted amazing. It's probably the, it was one of the best spaghettis I've ever had, I've ever made. It was really good, really, really good. Damn it. Fire makes things taste good. What did you use for sauce? Oh, we just used Bertoli's. Um, Misplay. I turn. I burn the spaghetti. It's sometimes important to use some of the pasta water in the sauce. Having more starchy water is good. If you have too much water, you get less starch. Using jar sauce doesn't matter. You toss the water after straining. I mean, yeah, obviously, right. My muddy, muddy, buy muddy tomato sauce. I have to. I'll mention that to Katie. She's the one that usually puts together the uh, uh, the groceries. I should try that out. Yeah, that that spaghetti I made the other day. I'm still thinking about it. It was so good. You know, I... It's... My spaghetti is so good that I've taken over spaghetti. Now, now Katie is not going to make spaghetti anymore. Now I have to make spaghetti. That's how good it is. <laughs> I've, like, taken over... Taken over spaghetti duties. Man. Uh, Mick Rawl, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Do you know how to, do you cook on the grill often? We don't have a grill. We have like grill pans and stuff. We don't have an outdoor grill or anything like that. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit against grills and leaving them outside because I had a small grill in an apartment in Florida and I used it once. I made like the most amazing corn on it of all time. And then like a week later, I went out to use it and there was like a family of rats in it. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I don't know about this whole outdoor grill thing. I think I'm gonna pass.
Oh, dude, grilled corn? Free meat. You call that meal prep? Dude, grilled corn is amazing. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, hell yeah. This is it. Whoa, these pipes are outrageous. I can't believe I made that. <laughs> these pipes. Those pipes are something else, man. Holy crap. <laughs> I was like on the far right of it. He must, these must be like super forgiving pipes. They must be. I know, I know. I wasn't even close to it. Got some powerful suck on these pipes. Uh, Lagre, thank you for the 70 months. Thank you. Yeah, I saw the time. Uh, thank you, Lagre. Uh, this hack is giving us automatic uh, automatic checkpoints. So. Any future cooking stream ones? I still owe you guys a cooking stream. I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten. Yep. Yep. Cookie stream when Soak Song released. I still owe you guys. I'll teach you a place that involves burning that you'll love for sure. Do you like? Oh, dude, spicy foods are my favorite food. Spin jumping on this block feels Mario Maker ish. I wonder if, is Jez, uh, I don't know if Jez is a Mario Maker player or not. Let my local, I'll let the local fire department know, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought, he, I don't know why I thought he was going to fall down there. <clears throat> A bit heavy for a midweek meal might save it for a weekend i i've had people in the chat who made my mustard chicken i had some people oh you're not what's up yes how's it going people have made my mustard chicken and they think it's really good they think it's good lots of people are saying my mustard chicken is really good chat you did make it it was good I mean, if it's bland, then you seasoned it wrong. If it's bland, you seasoned it wrong. Must chicken is really good. Many people are saying. I think the recipe was pinned in Discord somewhere, right? Uh, Jordy, thank you for the 40 months. Thank you, Jordy. Really appreciate that. Forty months of great joy. Thank you, Bar. Thanks, Jordy. Grainy mustard is so good. No, it's a spin. It tasted like mustard. So this doesn't work. Oh, and that pipe is semi-solid. Okay. <laughs> All 
All right, sure. You know, if you if you give me a checkpoint, you can do a, you can, if you give a checkpoint, you can do all kinds of dumb stuff to the player, right? You can do all kinds of stupid shit. Is that the Price is Right music? I, yeah, it must be. Uh, Flip, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you, Brian. That was a cool level. Enjoy that one. Mm, thank you, Flip. How's it going, dude? Double, triple, Keck W Secret Service. Nice H. I'm trying to think of what are the other hacks I missed recently. There was um, there was the Mario Maker creators hack called We Like It Here. Uh, I missed that one. Uh, I think Sweet Dude has a new hack. It's like a vertical level hack. There's Gamble, and then there's uh, Tortured Souls 2. So I missed the, uh, I missed, oh yeah, and VL Scoot has another hack too. Yeah, I missed a whole bunch of hacks. There's a huge puzzle hack. I saw that there was a hack that uh, it's like, a, I, I raided DGR uh, when it was playing it. He was playing with Pooh. So it's a kind of weird co-op hack where like you have to play with somebody else. Anybody see, is that on SMW Central? Is, anybody, uh, is that on SMW Central? That'd be kind of fun to do with somebody. The co-op pack is cool. Yeah, is that on SMW Central? Fuck it up now. There we go. Question time. How many keys on a classic piano? What? <laughs> uh... Seventy nine, eighty two, eighty eight. I'm going to say it's not odd. Eighty two or eighty eight. I'm going to say eighty eight. Say eighty eight keys. Ah, uh -huh. ah, no yump. Any yumpies? No yumpies. Or yumpless. Oh, there was no bet for it. I didn't do a bet. And it's been so long, I forget. No yumpies. Numpies. Yeah, is that uh, is that co-op pack on SW Central? I have I have no idea. If it was, I'd consider maybe uh maybe I could find somebody to play that co-op. Oh, it is. Maybe I could find somebody to play that co-op pack with. Maybe that'd be pretty fun. I don't know if uh I don't know. We'll see. I maybe I might ask the Glazer or Tofu and see if they want to do it. It'd be fun. Let's see. Let me, uh, smoke a loke. No, I, I prefer somebody competent. <laughs> I'm only <like>, kidding. <laughs> yump, yump, or yumpins. Place your bets, guys. What do you think? The Switch Palace is in a little while. Place your bets, guys. <laughs> What's the name of the hack? Helping Hand. Yeah, I'll play with people who beat Grand Portal 3. <laughs> Place your bets, guys. Uh, I guess that, yeah, Tofu's out then, I guess. Smoke catch and straight. So why would you ask Tofu? <laughs> why Tofu, then? <laughs> uh, thank you, Onion Pulp Fiction, for the four months. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hind Me, for the 60 months. Did you ever do Tower Hard Mode? No, man, I never got around to it. I think I got, I think I want to say I got, like, 60-something rooms, but then I just got, I just, bur I just kind of burned out of working on it. You gotta understand, I spent so much time on Grand Portal 3, and I can still play it periodically, casually, but yeah. I think Dan G beat Grand Portal 3. Yeah, I think he did. Tofu just wouldn't do it on a Tuesday. Well, Pooh already played the co-op hack with DGR, I think, right? So he's already played it. All right, Chasm Crawler. Let's start it up. No, Tofu definitely beat Grand Portal 3. I think he did, like, runs of it for a little while. Yeah, I'm gonna replace. I'm gonna. We're gonna. I'm gonna. In the 1.1, 1 .1, whenever that's done, I'm gonna replace uh, Smoke Oak with uh, with V Sweat. Mm. 
Oof. Yeah, I I think I don't I don't know. I'm not I'm not I'll I'll, I'll ask around. I'm not, I'm not gonna promise anything. I think it'd just be a fun thing to do. Don't don't bother anybody about it. By the way, don't don't ask for me. I'll I'll ask them. I don't want to put pressure on somebody. Oh, don't ask other streamers about it. I'll ask them. Yeah, don't bother people. Um. Hmm. Okay. Okay, and then onto the beetle. I got you. Yeah. Uh, I think I see what has to happen there. I think I see it. You ever play Earthbound? I'm gonna go ahead and say that I probably would not enjoy Earthbound. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's probably not the game for me. You have probably guessed correctly. Yeah, it's it, right off the bat, I'd say I'm not particularly interested in it. Like just looking at it doesn't really interest me much. So I think I need to activate that so I can jump on it and then get over and then throw that up. Earthbound is amazing. Would I like Lisa the Painful? Who's you got Baldur's Gate 3? I know, I'm judging it by his color. I've, I've been wrong before. I've been wrong. I think I'm going to not like a game. I end up loving the game. Sometimes I look at a game, I think I'm going to love it, and I end up hating it. I thought I was gonna love the Doom mod, and I fucking by the end of yesterday, I was I was ready to fucking blow a gasket at that shit. I thought that was gonna be great. I thought DK94 was not gonna be very good, and I thought the Doom mod was gonna be a lot of fun. DK94 was amazing, and the Doom mod made me want to fucking run out of the room screaming. So, absolutely, I get it wrong by judging stuff. So, definitely happens. Maybe I would enjoy it though. Uh, you ever play point and click adventures like Monk? No, you know, I've never played one of those. Would you consider, to what extent would you consider uh, Oberdin a point and click? Uh, maybe like somewhat? I don't know. Probably not, I guess. I love Oberdin. Kinda, sorta, not at all. There we go. Um. Okay, so I think, I wanna say that's what I do there. I think, I think that's what I do there. A little confused. No, I never played Monkey Island. Oh yeah, I played. I played Mist. I really enjoyed Mist. I don't know if those are considered point-and-click adventures though, but I did like Mist. Mist is a first-person shooter. You know what? <laughs> so is so is Minecraft, right? Okay, what's weird about these on-off switches, the on-off switches are one-time. I thought it was gonna switch on and off there. They're a one-time deal. Okay, a little weird, a little weird. They have the tentacle is great. Damn it. Pokemon Snap is an on-rail shooter, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, I went way too soon there. My opinion on light gun shooters, uh, I love them. I don't think they make too many of them anymore, but I, I love the classic light gun shooters. Time Crisis, House of the Dead, Silent Scope. Uh, they, they don't really make them too much anymore. Morning. Thanks for the content and hope the family is health and happy. Oh, dude, hell yeah. House of the Dead 2, fuck yeah. You know, I always, I always hated Area 51. I hate that game. I don't like that one. Never liked that one. Uh, thank you very much, Wheeze, for 41 months. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Have I tried the new weapons and hell divers? Yeah, I tried uh, everything. Ex oh, you know, it's actually not true. Uh, Gunroar dropped the crossbow, and I got to try that a little bit. The crossbow seems fun. The marksman rifle that they added is fucking awful, though. That one's terrible. I don't know why they have such a problem with why. I don't know why they hate rifles so much. Hey, hey, what was that? <laughs> what was that? Uh, thank you, Weez. Thank you, Dunkaroo, for nine months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. What the hell was that? Very New York, hey, too fast. Some funny looking cheese. I haven't played, uh, last week I played a lot of Helldivers. Uh, listen, I can sit down and play Helldivers right now. I'm kind of giving, uh, I'm kind of giving a little break on stream. Okay, so that time I was too slow. So it's like a right speed. I have to go here. Who's streaming, the cat or the dude? <sighs> Ever considered playing System Shock? Uh, I've had System Shock recommended to me multiple times. Did I ever play an Atari? I've played Atari games, but um, I would call the Atari era of games the pre-fun area uh, era of video games. This is before uh, fun was invented in video games. See, I'm still, I'm going too slow. I gotta go faster. Is System Shock related to Bioshock? Uh, yes and no. Yes and no, right? Yes, they are, but also no. that one okay gg i mustache twirling laugh have you heard of no rest for the wicked uh you're like the fourth or fifth person to mention that to me no i haven't seen it i've seen it Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. It's so good it could have been easily the fourth movie in the series of the dumb ones, the aliens. Also a great introduction to the genre. Hmm, interesting. You see the eradicate measure? What's up, Gunroar? How's it going, man? <laughs> Dude, Gunroar, we were playing at 2 a.m. And then somebody yesterday was like, yeah, Gunroar and I did some missions in the morning. And I was like, wait a minute. If we were playing at 2 a.m. And Gunroar was playing in the morning with this dude. When did Gunroar sleep? When did he sleep? It's like when did he? When did he ever? When did he ever go to bed? He just, uh, he just doesn't stop. He's probably mid mission right now. Yeah, democracy never sleeps. Neither does Gunroar apparently. 
Yeah, I saw that there's new missions that uh, apparently the the robots have like the AT-ATs and those are going fucking crazy right now apparently, so. You are mid-mission. <laughs> Have you heard of Knights of the Round? Uh, no. Huh, weird. I'm not. Okay, I think I'm stalling or something. Oh, that's why I'm stalling. Okay, that's why I'm stalling. Uh, that Doom hack would drive me back to SMW. Oh, it's just been, uh, it's been two weeks since I've played Super Mario World. It's been two weeks. Defend the battery system. It's amazing. I haven't seen it in a while. It's like your Helm's Deep idea. Yeah, I've seen those too. Yeah. Seems like a cool hack to return. There's a, there's a, a, a Lily. There's been a number of good hacks released recently that I've kind of missed out on. So. Mm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm big on wheat beer. I don't know if I'm a big wheat beer guy. soft color palettes. Yeah, it visually looks great. Uh, the, the background on this one's really cool. I'm a beer snob. No, not particularly. Hmm. In the Munich, I'll show you a real wheat beer. I do like Sapporo. I do like Sapporo a lot. Okay, so I actually can respawn you. I, I just go. I just go. <clears throat> Ever had Asagi? I want to say like a long time ago, yeah. Uh, P.S. Ninja Turtle, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you for 600 bits. Do you ever do a collab? Uh, do you ever collaborate with the other top 100 Twitch streamers? I wouldn't necessarily be against it, um, but I don't. I wouldn't say it's likely. I also don't even know if I'm considered a top 100 streamer anymore. Or, uh, I don't. Even, I have no idea. I bet Luigi can count to 32. I'm kind of in I my. Can't. I'm kind of happy in my. Um, like for all, yeah, maybe I'm number 101 now. I'm kind of happy in my uh, cocoon. I'm ha I'm happy where I am. Throwback kid, thank you for the 32 months. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> uh, what if it's based off over how many hours you stream? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what we're basing. We're basing it off of viewers, subscribers. Like, I don't, I don't even know what we're basing it off of, honestly. So. I don't want to do a hot tub stream. Mm, I don't think I'll be doing a hot tub stream. Muncher. Okay. 
ね。Damn. Kitty left. Bye bye, Kitty. He ate the pencil. What's Cat's name? Cat's name is Snake Pliskin. Snake. Thought you were dead. Yeah, that's what they keep telling me. Mwah. Okay, okay. Second floor basement. Hear the Mario Party music. His name is Commander Bill Adama. I, I like that, I like that. Escape from New York or LA? Oh, escape from New York, are you kidding me? Escape from LA fucking sucks, man. It's far too hot to travel any further. Feel free to take a nap here in the tent until nightfall. I think I will. But, so what happens if you go forward? Do you like die? Oh, looks like you can't do anything. Now we can do stuff. Uh, what do I do about that? I think I just, like, avoid it? Uh, escape from New York is at my my uh, intro. My two year old, the snake. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> huh. Looks creative. How was the green bean hack? Uh, the green bean hack was very good and had some pretty rough levels. Oh, okay, I see. Had some pretty fucking rough levels overall, but overall, really awesome hack. Oh, I made it! <laughs> That's a frame perfect move. <laughs> You're doing the wall, the wall run, you have uh, one frame to uh, jump off the muncher. I beg your pardon. Uh, is the call pack the one that was talked about earlier in the questionable hack jam? Oh, I don't know, actually, I'm not sure. Well, even though, um, like, even, you know, jump half and jump two, like, those are two hacks I love. Even they kind of have their rough levels, too. You know what I mean? You're really enjoying watching it on YouTube. I'm glad you're enjoying. Glad you're enjoying. Glad you're enjoying because there's going to be a lot more. <laughs> A whole lot more of that. Over. Spin. Man, that is, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm spinning too, I want to say I'm going too early, going too early, I think. A level of stream on a good day, yeah. I'm glad I played it, it's a great hack. Um, I was a little tired of it by the end of it, just because it's, uh, some, some levels in particular really kind of exhausted me, you know? Uh, fart for you. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. It was a pretty exhausting hack in its own right. I'm glad you enjoyed. Glad you enjoyed. Do 
jump team is done making hacks after ooh. Uh, oops. I don't think that at all. I think they're gonna keep making stuff. I don't. I don't buy that. I think that maybe some things will change. And maybe some people will come and go. But I, I don't think jump team is uh, is gonna stop. Maybe they'll go by a new name. Maybe they'll be like, oh, we're not jump team anymore. Now we're. Now we are Team Mawio, but you know, it doesn't, they're gonna keep making stuff for sure. Where my final, yeah, they already, they've been like, they've been done like three times. Yeah, I'm not quite believing it. What are my thoughts on Mario Doom? Uh, my thoughts on Mario Doom is that if you, if people make, like, my, my thoughts are in that in general, ROM hacks and fan creation games are awful in general. <laughs> And looks like that rule also extends to Doom mods as well. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, okay, that was tight. Visually looked great, love the aesthetic. Uh, really overboard on the level and enemy design. Really overboard on that stuff. Some of the levels were really bad. Some of the enemies placement was terrible. Could have been much better for sure. Uh, it's actually been fun. Yeah, it's actually been fun so far. Uh, thank you, Fart, for you. Really appreciate the 30 months, dude. Did you like Zeldoom? Zeldum, Zeldoom was really fun, yeah. Some team is sort of like Larry David. They'll never stop. All right, Thwomp Temple. I've heard rumors that Mario's been spotted Man, here at the fabled Thwomp Temple. Really, really, like, this hack looks really nice. Sometimes you look at these hacks, it's like, man, these hacks look so much nicer than mine. <laughs> look at these thwomp faces, man. Uh, a lot of yeah, a lot of attention to visuals, right? Uh, creative, thank you for the 52 months. Thank you very much. Okay. It helps that he can see color. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, so I have to like wait there and go left. And you were meant to be an artist. This is what it looks to be inspired by. No, we haven't got... So, like, every world has a Switch Palace you have to get to. I knew it. Visually pleasing hack. I agree. I agree. Are they telling me to get good? Ah, just making noises at me <laughs> as usual. No, and I'm very concerned about Grand Pool 3. It's not very inspired. They're just making noises at me. We love Thwomp themed stuff. Thwomp levels are pretty fun to make. Shallow and pedantic, right. Been very cute and very fun so far. Yeah, thwomping the dick. 
Uh, been fun. Uh, I would say that. Uh, uh yeah, hair my mouth. I would say that, uh, I think it kind of plays the most, like, Enter the Gungeon, like, gameplay wise. The gameplay is not as good as Enter the Gungeon. It also has some Dave the Diver similarities. Uh, I would say I like Dave better because running the running the restaurant in Dave and like the story stuff in Dave is really charming and it's well done. So it's kind of like a mix of Enter the Gungeon and Dave, and I, I like Enter the Gungeon and Dave better than than uh, Moonlighter. But Moonlighter is still good, still a good game. Yeah, I don't hate it. It's a cute game. Yeah. Ah! Have I read anything good lately? Um. Well, we just read. We just did the book club. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the future of book club is going to be. I have to think about it. I know people like it, but. Uh... I may. Uh, I may read some stuff of my own for a little while. We'll see. Play the hack in Mario 64 Ocarina of Time. Sounds fun. Um, a lot of hacks sound fun. That doesn't mean that they are fun. Doesn't mean that they are fun. Screw Discord didn't let me speak last time. Could do it less frequently once every quarter. Yeah, maybe I should space them out more. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, but here's the thing is that my goal is not to get people reading. My goal is to be a successful streamer though. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, doing fun stuff once in a while. I think maybe maybe we could space it out every couple months or something like that. We'll see. One day I'll get there. Yeah, maybe. Ah. No, I don't think it does. People are hooked on reading. They'll watch you less. I think movie reviews can be fun too. Might have more engagement than a book. It's a bit hard for me to get out to see movies these days. Hey Barb, can you please go see Captain Marvel 3? And then like, I gotta do that shit too. It's like, nah, I don't want to, man. Hey Barb, see Deadpool. It's gonna be really funny. Nice relaxing book with me playing Mario Doom in the background. The reading Shogun is a recommendation. It's seriously one of the best books I've ever read. I'm glued to it after work every day. You should try out a uh, Taipan after you finish up Shogun. Taipan was also really good. Barb Pizza Club. Yeah, Taipan was awesome. Uh, not much expectation there. Your kids are gonna make, uh, are gonna make you watch the shittest of kid shows? Yeah, probably. I still wanna read, uh, King Rat. I still wanna read that. I might read that on my own. I'm supposed to see the Mario movie. I'm gonna see the new Deadpool. Ah. Yeah, we'll see. They're, uh, they're a bit young for that right now, so. Hmm, awkward. Awkward. We looked at the Shogun Showdown. I actually did a sponsored stream of that when it came out for early access. And I had a fantastic time with it. Okay. 
time. Uh, okay, well, I actually have to hit the... Hit, oh, there's a throw block. Oh. Latin music, kind of weird. Huh, a little strange. Can I, uh, can I just do this? I guess you're supposed to... One more. <gasps> I I tried to make it back to the platform because I thought the level was gonna end, but floor floor appears beneath you. Okay, I was not expecting that. Oh my god, I suck. I've a deck builder game called Ardor. Pretty fun. Fucking snipe. There's a path. Oh, there's a path. Oh, okay. So how do I avoid getting sucked into the ground by the path? <laughs> I see the path, asshole. I got fucking sucked into the ground. I see it. <laughs> that didn't seem fair. That did not seem fair. No, it did not. There's a path! Try landing on top of it. I'll do my best. Just don't be there. You know what I'm really missing right now for some reason? I'm really missing Counter-Strike. Damn. I'm really missing Counter-Strike right now. I miss going, uh, I miss going 2 and 15. Sounds like uh, the messenger music.
God damn it. <laughs> run, little man, run. Oh god. No, I didn't see it. This looks fun. Oh, this has been fun so far. I feel like it's, uh, I don't remember Gamball 1 too well. Kind of feel like this is a bit of a step up of difficulty, but uh, it's been fun. It's been really well made so far. Like a bit harder from what I from a vague recollection of playing it a long time ago. Whoa, whoa. Ah! Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, it's a bit hard to remember hacks you beat in one sitting. Uh, now, I, I will not... I'm not gonna forget the beans hack because it took me like, what was it, like 70 hours or something? <laughs> That's like something ridiculous. I'm not gonna forget the beans hack. Did you? Inexa, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you, Inexa. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. We'll get to test that memory Run next board. year to see if you remember it. What? The Beans hack? Oh, fuck you. I'm not playing that shit for a long time. I'd sooner play the jump games again than I would play the Beans hack. Maybe someday I'll play the Beans hack again, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. Did you forget the Beans hack anyway? It was. It was very unique. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's weird that I'm sad that the level is over because the music was good. Well, what's up, Legendary Techno? How's it going, dude? Humble has an eight audiobook of James' books, two of them being Shogun Part 1 and 2 for the next day. That's pretty cool. The bean pun titles are killing you. Will you ever play Wings of V again? Undisputed, bro, allow me to answer you. Uh, allow me to answer you like this. Let me answer you like that. Uh, Topaz Palace. Oh, things work differently here, too. You can double jump, but only by alternating between jump and spin. Okay. Cool. Oof. Uh, MG Scott, thanks for the bits. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. What about the witness? Did you guys know that there is a witness randomizer? <laughs> Talking about that yesterday, that sounds like hey, thank you for the that gift, would so. be the most horrible thing I could possibly do. Like actually, like if you were to pick, like I don't know, maybe may, it'd be. I feel like it'd be a competition between that and a banjo tui randomizer. <laughs> it is. It already feels random. I didn't even 100% witness. Like, I I got out of it as fast as I could. Oh, I had to... Okay. Uh, how do you tell your twins apart? Uh, well, they kind of look different. One's a bit heavier. That one's like a pound heavier than the other. Uh, so like they, they're they're a little bit different in terms of like face and stuff. One has more hair than the other, so one has like a lot more hair. Uh, baby B's hair all like fell out after she uh, after she was born, and she's she's got it back now, but. Um, also, uh, baby B has a birthmark. Uh, it's like a man. It's like a baby birthmark called a hemangioma on her leg. I can pretty. I can just kind of look and tell them apart pretty easily. Oh, 
that was cool. Uh, what color? But what? What color pill did he swallow in the matrix? It was the the red pill. No! Come on! No yump. <laughs> Yumpins. Got no yumps today. I'm yumpless. I wonder if parents just get mixed up. I think uh, I think parents, when they spend enough time with their kids, I don't think that that happens. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible, but I don't think that happens too much. We'll see. Maybe the girls will try to... I'm sure that at some point, the girls are going to try to trick us, right? Like, that's only a matter of time. Uh, all right, so we're going to a new world, world three. Place your bets, chat. We got another Switch Palace. Yump or no yump? Place your bets, guys. 0 for 2 on yumps. 0 for 2 on yumps. Uh, hang on, chat. Uh, I have to uh, get up to use the bathroom. I have to get up to use the bathroom. I'll be back in just one moment. Place your bets. Continue playing the sack. Do it. I uh, got to pee. Two seconds, guys. BRB. about that Ooh. okay i'm back thanks for waiting i'm hungry today what i keep hearing i keep i i don't like burger king i keep hearing that burger king is like much better now i keep hearing that um yeah. i'm half tempted to try it but also but i also hate burger king i don't know uh shusuke thank you for the bits appreciate that thank you guys did you guys know that we are four subscribers away me. four subscribers away from 10,000 subs or subscribers away. Uh, if you guys have a Amazon Prime, you guys also have Twitch Prime. I should consider using your uh, Twitch Prime subs. Use exclamation point prime in the chat. Quick, quick, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we are now over 10,000 subscribers. Hey, chat, thank you very much. Holy, sh well, now we're way over. <laughs> Uncensored. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, MG Ska. Holy shit. Maxi Facts. Thank you for five gift subs. Mind Cloud. Thank you for five gift subs. Reverse Spark. Thank you for 64 months. The Code File. Thank you for the 36 Super months. Billy not to sub. Addy. Thank you for nine gift subs. Thank you, Addy. Appreciate that, man. Subscribe. Thank you very much. You Thank fools. you, Addy. Chat, did you know? <laughs> Thank you very much, MG Scott. Appreciate that. Thank you for the 100 gift subs. God damn. Nice. Uh, thank you very much. Holy shit. Day ruined. Thank you, MG Scott, for hyping. Thank you so much. Dude. Holy shit. MG Ska, the legend, make it so. Uh, Nautical Nathan, thank you for 37 months. Kegwin, thank you for the tier 3, 32 months. Uh, Zyla, I think 55 months, thank you. All right, well, jump back in. Thank you, MG Ska, for 100 gifts of man. Thank you very much. Hmm. I'm entitled to ramble Ooh. on about something everyone knows. Oh. 
too long time. Did we know what? Oh, that trail off. Just kept talking in one long, incredibly unbroken sentence, moving from topic to topic, so that no one had the chance to interrupt it. But really, quite if not, ah. incredibly unbroken sentence. The song is going to be in your head for the next six hours. Jump off the right side. This is definitely the rat jam part of the song. Is this song 20 years old now? I think it might be, yeah. You'll have to call again. Just leaving. I'm uh, not dressed properly. And we're going to add the, yeah, we have to add the Star Wars rap for an alert. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Rose really throw it back. We got this, duh. <laughs> It's a mighty fine gin and tonic, exactly. You like the other Star Wars rap? The other one's a bit more, uh, a bit more risque, right? I don't know if the other one aged as well. Dude, the fucking regret. It's crazy that Jazz Jitsu got the song into the game, right? The card was a weird choice for this level, though. I am cute as a ball. You will assist us. I am cute as a ball. You are ball. I am cute as a ball. Okay. I am cute as a ball. Kind of worse, though. Thank you so much, MG Ska, for the 100 gift subs. Thank you so much. Nautical Nathan, thanks for 37 months. Kegwin, thanks to Tier 3. Jesus, I want pizza. Blazed Marshmallow, thank you for the subs. Uh, Miss Macbeth, Danny Duena, thank you for the subs. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh, I got to spin there. Uh, thank you very much. I like when he dances silently at the end. It's probably a better, probably like a better gif I could get of Picard, honestly. Oh, I think that that's a one F zero, I think. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Kegwin, for the tier three 32 months. Thank you very much. It always feels so quiet when Picard ends. It's like, wait, why isn't the stream obnoxious anymore? <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, these are these are some kind of custom tile. I would imagine something like one F zero, but okay. Now it's a, uh, now that fits. Now it's a nice. Nice. 
No! Oh, wow. That's like the default alert. <laughs> Why is the default alert playing? <laughs> that's the default one. I think I, 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 was, I was cleaning up my Streamlabs and... Uh, I think I must have deleted the the small one. Yeah, the default one. Yeah, I haven't I haven't heard that in forever, dude. F0 like uh uh is one F0 like F0 100? Sure, sure. Stop it! Stop with the fucking default alert, you bastards. Thank you for all the bits, guys. Appreciate that. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> New streamer using default alerts. Fuck y'all. <laughs> make it to 10k. You know what? I'll just. You know what? Why don't I just turn them all into Denethor? I'll make you guys listen to fucking tomatoes all day. Come for custom emote. Stay for default alerts. I'm gonna give you guys Denethor all day. Do it. No, you won't. <laughs> Gotta pour salt into the wound. Absolutely. What are we doing here if not pouring salt into the wound? Please, no. Call his bluff. Ghastly Grove. I like this song. Banger. This from Pugsley's Scavenger Hunt? I've never heard of that. I'm actually... I'm mad at Patty. Because Patty has the perfect alert. I don't know if he still has it for like... For like a for like less than a hundred bits, it's the sound effect from Snowboard Kids when you you try to run over an item and uh, you don't have it. You don't. So in Snowboard Kids, you have to have money to to hit an item to get like it's like Mario Kart. Imagine if Mario Kart requires you to have money. So to get money, you have to pick up coins as you go, and then that's how you get items. So Patty's he plays the sound effect. It plays the sound effect when that happens. Says not enough. <laughs> <And> <laughs> That's to me. I'm so mad I didn't think of that first because it really is like the perfect. It's the perfect alert. I'm mad he thought of that. I fucking love snowboard kids too. Just steal it. That's how this all works anyway. Ah, no. I feel, I feel bad for that. Farce of the Penguins, there's a good Samuel L. Jackson, not enough in there. Harv is a good man, I respect that. The splitting boos are cool. Does all the big streamers race to make their own streamer versions of Taskmaster? 
Other than every streamer on Twitch doing marbles, have you seen people steal your ideas? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I get a little, I, I would say I get some smug satisfaction that they try out marbles where they let chat pick their game, they try it, but they don't have the fucking spit and salt in their soul to sit there and grind out wings of V. They can't hang with, with chat's terrible choices. I hang, I'll play that shit. I'll piss and moan and grit my teeth. They can't hang. Yeah, they ain't got the spite like I do. Oh, I guess there must be a spin there. You can't handle the marbles! You're the one miserable doing it. That's not much of a win. How's Moonlighter? Moonlighter's been pretty cute. Moonlighter's been cute. Yeah, I've seen other people try out marbles and then they're like, actually, never mind. This is not a good idea. <laughs> that's that's what I've seen with, with marbles. And people have adapted it to do different things. I think using something like marbles is cute. I mean, but I'm, I don't, uh, I'm probably not the first person that did something like that. It says, I got the idea of letting chat pick a game from Orator uh, is where I got the idea. Because uh, Orator had a 24 hour stream once. Uh, a long time ago and he let I don't know how he did it he had like this big raffle where everybody could enter and he picked one person out of a raffle and that's that person chose Minecraft <laughs> so that's where we had the orator Minecraft experience where the creeper blew up his house and he quit <laughs> I was like I could do maybe I could do something similar to that It's, uh, it's always, uh, I think a lot of content creators, there's always, like, uh, the quest to, like, keep your viewers excited. Like, how do you get viewers excited about your content? Like, how do you make it, you know, and there's, there's all different kinds of ways. I think Marbles has been a pretty good thing, despite the fact that there are, there has been some pain from Marbles, but the thing is, I can take it. I can take it. I piss and moan, and then, like, a week later, like, a day later, I don't remember what I even did, so I can take it. Ah, that was a short level. Whoa! Someone posts a construction job, Pasta. Gonna make you play Putt Putt Saves the Zoo. Uh, thank you for all the bits, guys. Thank you. Plus, it's Rain World. I'm still mad she didn't play more. <laughs> Can we choose a hot sub stream if we win marbles? Uh, that'll raise excitement. No. The Minecraft streams were fun. Barb is a tough guy. Yeah, I could... Listen, the Kaizo Mario and Mario Maker game made me pretty fucking tough. I can take... I can take some bullshit. I can take it. People get worried they might be forced to play something that's in the, not in the streaming meta. I mean, well, pff, bro, I would say that something, maybe like 95% of Marvel's games, when I switch to that game, that game has zero viewers and zero followers on Twitch. That's mostly been about 90%, 95% of Marvel's games so far. <laughs> it's been about that. Uh, uh, I think the uh, SW Central probably tells you how many exits. I don't know how many exits are in this hack. What has been my economic impact on indie games? Tech is uh, very well put together, uh, very nice. Tech has been very nice. Tech sucks, fuck this hack. No, this hack's been very, very nice. Arb is Rogue Legacy 2 on PS5. One for the money. Let me introduce you to my good friend, Google, idiot. Go use Google, asshole. What are you asking me for? I don't fucking know. Learn to use Google. Ah. 
I prefer Bing. Google is too much AI. I'm beginning to think you're a fucking AI. A bad one at that. I'm beginning to think you're a fucking AI. Bad streamer interaction. Which dry cleaner is closer to my house? <laughs> Bring in the weekend chat energy today. Uh, what's tomorrow's forecast in my area? I don't know. Good question. Hey, Barb, what'd you do with my keys? Oh, no. <laughs> You're going to get mad at me, too. <laughs> I still love that even after we found them, she was still trying to blame me. I love that. I love that woman. You gotta like really cut your jump in there. Uh, now and Jen, thank you for the gifts up. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Welcome to marriage. Uh, we've been married for 12 years. And we've been together for 17 years. Long time. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's a lot of fucking time. It sure is. This beautiful gold. Yeah, I've been here for a while. Stream off. Take, uh, take the stream off. Take it somewhere for the 15th anniversary. Well, I mean, we'll see. Our, our lives are not determined by what we want to do. Our lives are determined by what the baby's got to do. It has nothing, it has nothing to do with us nowadays. We're, we are, we are, uh, partici we're, we're passengers. They're the drivers. Really? Shit. Did you mean in college or in high school? We met in college. Uh, she was nine. Uh, she was 20 and I was 19. Or no, she was 21 and I was 20. That's not ending anytime soon. Oh, I should not have submission my normal job. Uh, thank you, Crucifier. Are you a renew your vows type guy? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not. Can we do it in a drive through in Vegas or something? Then maybe. Don't ever say romance is dead. jump. Words, we realized just money we didn't want to spend. Do it at a Taco Bell in Vegas? Hell yeah, dude. Swear on the almighty quesadilla. I only remember my vows after a year because we didn't plan, uh, in time to plan our first wedding. It was a 90-day visa. Huh, huh. Fuck the leaves. I like the leaves. I like them. The leaves are a decent sprite. So that level in Grand Portal 3 is also if, if you're if you're bitching about the leaves, that level's like probably the easiest level in the game. Well, even, that level's not even hard, dude. I got if you're complaining about Grand Portal 3, I have a couple of bean themed levels for you to play. You'll be, you'll be begging for Grand Portal 3 at that point. Ah. Okay, he's speeding. Shit. 
music on this level seems peaceful. Steel issue TBH. Ah, getting peace be there, I think. There was something hidden beyond the vines, was there? Alright, so that one I need like a big re grab there. Okay. I mean, like right here. Uh, I think the vines are decorations, guys. Hint of decorations. Uh, this is a brand new hack, B-Tim. This hack came out like uh, like a week ago or something, and I've been on a bit of a I've been on a bit of an SMW uh, sabbatical. I, I took about two weeks off. So. Besides the track, Grand Prix, you need a break after 115 hours. I don't blame you. Good to pace yourself. Jet. No, it was two weeks. Two weeks. I played uh, Kamikaze Bros, uh, Rift World 3, or Rift World Rift Bros 3. I kind of knew after after Grand Portal 3, I kind of knew that this year was going to be uh, like not as much Super Mario World as in the past. I kind of knew that. I did beat Mario Doom, yeah. Still played a ton of Mario those two weeks and not really time off for Mario in general. Well, it's just it's just nice to step out of my comfort zone and play something, you know, newer. I had a lot of fun with dude, I had so much fun with Rift Bros. Very fun. Oh, okay, let's see. What was Mario Doom Final Boss? It was another Bowser, but uh, that whole final level, man, was super bullshit. Did I see that Mitch Flower Power is making an SMB3 hack? Uh, I did not. He has made a few in the past. He's fixing his? What did he make? He made something called uh, the Final Kaizo, and he, apparently he made another one I didn't know about called Mini Kaizo or something. The amount of run past all the enemies Mario Doom was lame. Yeah, it was a bit much. A bit lame. The final, final, Kaizo. Did you ever meet a Goomba? No, there's no Goombas in Mario Doom. I mean, I saw the coins. I thought the coins meant like go here. <laughs> well, the coins meant go here. Goomba erasure. Me, I, when I see coins, I think go here. My fault, I guess. I oh, mean, I'm so excited for the announcement on Friday. You guys are gonna like it. Gotta get some stuff ready. Red means dead. Are those red? Easy peasy. That was cool. No, it is not Grand Portal 4. I bet he's moving the kick. Uh, no. I plans this Friday. Can you reschedule the announcement? We're finally getting the cooking stream. I'm announcing my OnlyFans. Exactly. The announcement will be on my green screened ass. Open some kind of chat competition. A chat competition? Streaming with Orator? More kids. No, no. Kids that... It, it, Stuff that's related to my family and stuff, those are not announcements. I, I did not, I didn't say like, guys, announcement, we're having a baby. I don't, I don't do that. That's, I'll talk about that stuff, but that's not, that's not announcement. Announcement has something to do with the stream. What do you do with the stream? No, I'm not replacing marbles, but I have, we'll call it the, uh, something, something else aside from marbles. Kind of maybe similar to marbles. We'll see. You better commission on gift subs or bits. Um, 
So in terms of subs, I get like a portion of that and Twitch gets the rest. Bits, like Twitch takes it out initially. Bits is just straight up like money to me. But uh, I mean, it's it's really, you support however you want to support and uh, or not, or you could just say, you know, Come fuck on, you. Don't bullshit me. Fuck you, free entertainment. You could also do that. What song is this? I can barely hear it. <laughs> I can, like literally barely hear it. It's so quiet. Yeah. I don't know. It's so quiet to me. Apparently it's loud for you guys, but. Uh, Shusuke, thank you for the bits. Really appreciate that. Death. Fuck you, free entertainment. I want to say it's a world peace song. Undisputed bro. I shall never speak of the game which shall not be spoken of again. Love you, Barber. What is the game that shall not there's there's a number of games that shall not be spoken again. <laughs> no, something about the game today is like it's quiet for me. I'm not sure why. Everything else is loud as fuck, but my my capture card, I don't know what it is. Okay, I see what I have to do there. I see what I have to do there. Bug Snacks, Wings of V. Mario Doom is pretty up there now. A lot of games. Damn. Is Moonlighter difficult at all? Uh, it's kind of challenging, I'd say. It's pretty challenging. I'm playing on like the super hard difficulty. It's been, it's been uh, pretty tough. I don't know what it's like on the easy, on like, you know, normal mode or whatever. Okay, so I gotta lay out, guys. You're like Nixon with games. I missed on the part where Mario Doom turned to shit. Oh, dude, yeah. Oh, go watch yesterday, man. Holy fucking shit. I, I, almost, I feel like I almost lost my voice yesterday screaming at it. Okay, I see what to do there. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Uh, I did play Dust. Yeah, Dust was pretty good. Dust was pretty good. I would have went IDDQ uh, D after seven uh, seven hours earlier. Does that make you invincible? This one Mario Doom turned bad though. So the, yeah, the entire stream yesterday, pretty much. That was yesterday's stream summary exactly. That's invincibility. Ah, okay. Oops. did really like I'll, I'll say this about mario doom really made me want to play like you know good doom <laughs> People juice. really made me want to play like doom 2016 So I think right there, am I avoiding the coins? I think I'm like avoiding the coins there. Oh, dude, uh, Doom, man, I would love to play Doom 2016 Eternal again, obviously, I'd love to do it. Uh, I love when Bart plays Doom, dude, 2016, you just like, you just start playing it, man. I just can't stop playing it at that point. It's like, I, it's one of those games I have to beat in one sitting. I love it. I would be that way with Doom Eternal, but Doom Eternal is just a little too long for it to be that way, so you gotta split it up. Maybe mirror mode on DKC returns? No, I'm not. Uh, no, we're we're going to this, this is the this is the Switch Palace, so we're gonna find out soon whether I yump or not.
no. Okay, this is a really cool level. This is really cool. Any chance of Hell Divers tonight? Oh, uh, maybe. Hell Divers was doing uh, increasingly worse for viewership. I mean, I love playing the game, but today is a good day for Hell Divers content. Uh, I mean, I could, I could be convinced. I can be convinced. I do love Hell Divers. Yeah, this is a really cool level. This is really cool. You should play Vol guys. You should win marbles. Whoa, that was cool. <laughs> How many super mar up? Uh <laughs> oh my god, is this one of these like super regrab chains? Nice regrabs, bro. Uh, how many Mario games are there? There are 42. And <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently not. Let's play a game that has a little horse that travels along a fixed path. Okay, so it's not 42. Uh, 71. Also, <laughs> also not. we go finally yump yump we did it Jeep, Jeep. i know finally right all right so that was all three space pilots there and we now heading to the final levels very cool level thanks for being oh yeah this hack's been really cool this hack's been cool road to nowhere It's the bread suckers. As intended. Dream Diner 16. Okay. Do it. Castle's in sight. Let's stop off the, uh, at this diner for a palate cleanser. Diner. Okay. Gives you Wario World vibes. I, it's, I, I can see the call. Okay, the bubbles are not as uh, a little hard to see on the bubbles, but that's my fault. Okay, so we gotta go fast. Go fast. Out. Please. Yeah. 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 It's kind of cool hearing Japanese history. What are you talking about? Oh, would you consider doing another Shogun stream? It feels relevant with the current show out. Oh, you want me to play some Shogun Total War? Oh, man. Shogun 2 is so good. Okay. Love Shogun 2. Been a while. Been a while. Hmm. Okay, let's just go. Shogun's gonna betray himself again. Uh, maybe. What are the banner? 
banner lore about Feudal Japan. I, I believe I could be wrong on this. I have seen some screenshots of it. Somebody was doing a gigantic overhaul mod of banner lord and the entire game was going to be said it was going to be Japan. It was going to be Feudal Japan. Huge banner lord overhaul. It was going to be all samurai. The map was going to be all Japan. I don't know what status that's in. I don't know what status that's in. Yeah, yeah. There we go. It looked good. Yeah, it looked good. You're shitting me? Uh, these are, those are custom flomps. Those are custom flomps. Okay. Are you going to play Manor Lords? Uh, I think that early access that comes out, like, soon, right? Early access, like, next week or something? the Grand Pearl Three Castle? Uh, no. For one thing, every every time you beat a beat a room, you get a checkpoint here. So obviously not. Yeah, I might play Manor Lords. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, oh shit. have the balls recently. I think he was just making like he wanted to make a nice kind of chill hack. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Was that rope in the previous room style or secret? The rope in the previous room. Uh, I don't even remember what rope you're talking about. Is there a rope? Uh, hack seems cozy. Happy to see a hack I can actually play for once. Yeah, you can totally play this hack. It's a little difficult, but if you were newer, this would be this wouldn't be too bad. It would probably kick your ass a little bit. Also, I see we have a beam. Uh, is the announcement on Friday about a 24-hour stream? Uh, it is not. No, no 24-hour stream. Okay, I see. Yeah, I have a announcement of something cool coming this Friday. I'm looking forward to. My eye twitched when I saw the bean. Uh, I'm still not sure what I'm doing on Sunshine. I may, we may have a sufferthon where I beat, uh, I try to beat Sky, or not Skyward Sword, uh, Mario's, uh, Mario Sunshine in one go. We may do that. We'll see. No, I'm not sure. We'll just have to. You just gotta have to wait and see whenever I announce it. New merch. Still working on new merch. Still working on that. Oh, I see. Okay, got gotcha. you. Cool. Neat. That was a cool level. Like that level a lot. GG. Sunshine feels like it'd be longer than Skyward Sword. You think you think Sunshine 100% would be longer than Skyward Sword? It took me 21 hours to beat Skyward Sword, I think. 21 or 21 hours or something. My barb shirt is severely faded. Yeah, I got my I got my one of my old barb shirts here. No shot. Fanny packs? I don't have access to fanny packs. Oh, I'm actually no longer part of TSM. No longer part of it, sadly. Uh, Poke from home. Thank you for the 71 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Oh, we're screen wrapping. Okay. I was fired. Yeah. Oh, I see. A bar beanie would be rad. For those of us who live in Hoth. <laughs> I 
Are these, uh, are these spikes candy corn? Is that what they're supposed to be? They look like candy corn. Did I buy TSM? That's kind of what, uh, isn't that kind of what Hungrybox did with, uh, with liquid? see shit hi I can't see hi hello hello hi hi snakey hi snakey hi sweet boy you such a sweet boy you a sweet boy uh cauterizer thank you for the 64 months thank you cauterizer appreciate that thank you very much thank you poke from home yeah, he's a co-owner of Team Liquid. Yeah, Hungry Box is, uh... Well, you're gonna fall off... All right, go, go, okay. He's gonna fall off my desk. Go on, go, you go. Go on. Bet, 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 bet. Yuri Fujiwara, thank you for the tier 3 66 months. Thank you very much, really appreciate that. Laser Cheat, thank you for the five months. Thank you, Laser Cheat. Appreciate that. All right, go on. Yes. We need a pat the butt emote. I feel like Twitch would ban it. Out. Oh, I got something for you. You're going to love this. Bottle cap. Wait, bottle cap. Bottle cap, look. There's your bottle cap. There it goes. I have to have a collection of toys on my desk to throw. So that he could, I could distract him. I threw it over there, idiot. I have to have a collection of cat toys on my desk just to get him off my desk. Uh, thank you, Laser Cheat. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, number one, four, 1477 for Sunshine, 100%. <laughs> Parenting 101, learning with cats. Anyway, uh, I have a lot of... Uh, so Hungry Box is a really, really... I feel like he's a really fucking smart dude. I feel like he's really smart. I have a lot of respect for Hungry Box. I feel like he's... Uh, he's done pretty well for, for himself. And... Uh, you know, for somebody... I, at one point, I feel like Hungry Box was like somebody people didn't like. Like, because uh, they didn't like his character, his play style and stuff. And he's actually done a lot for the Smash scene. And... Uh, He's been like a good influence overall, you know, and like uh, I have a lot of respect for Hungry Box for sure. Yeah, yeah, right. So, uh, I I threw the thing on. Hey, here it is. I have another bottle cap. Here you go. Ready? There's two bottle caps now on your bed. Two of them there. Yeah, I'm, I left TSM so I could join Team Pipe in Mario Maker chat. I know there's a pen there and I threw some bottle caps in there. I know. It's just time to make the change. You know, I'm really I'm really excited for new pipe themed levels. You gotta go. You gotta be right there. You gotta be right there. I think he's lying, SMH. Uh, I, I did. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's not a problem. Um, yeah, they just, uh, my contract didn't renew. My contract was up, and that's it. Love my time at TSM. There were everybody I ever spoke to was super nice. And, um, you know, that's how stuff goes, man. It was short, but it was good. Damn. They saw my, yeah, they finally saw my League of Legends VODs.
Yeah, after the Counter-Strike VODs and the League of Legends VODs, they're like, listen, we cannot have this guy on board anymore. Look good on my resume. Go, 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 don't stop. Ooh. Ooh. All right. What would you be doing tomorrow if you weren't a streamer? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'd be doing anymore. Uh, what's TSM? Uh, TSM is Team Solo Mid. They're, uh, they're a stream team I was a part of for a while. They're an esports organization. And I was with them for a couple years. And uh, my contract is up and uh, didn't get renewed. Now I'm no longer with them. Playing bricks or roofing? I still I'm gonna be making a um, I'm gonna be making a brick uh, a brick fire pit in the backyard. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm burning my barb jersey. <laughs> That's how it goes, man. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, the fire pit is for him. Yeah, I have to kind of like... Katie's on board. Like, she's on board with it. Um, I have to kind of like... I want to okay everything with her, too. Like, make sure we're on the same page. I'm not just going to do it. I want her to like it, too. So, um, I'm looking at some, like, DIY fire pit ideas, that sort of thing. It'll explode if you use regular ones. I mean, we're not making, um, I, I talked to my dad about this. I asked like, is it okay? Like, is there a certain kind of brick I should use? My dad said like, pretty much everything is fine because you're not covering it. Like, it's not like you're not making an oven. It's a fire pit. So, um, we can pretty much use whatever according to him. So, if anybody would know, my dad would know. That said, I have, I haven't started. I gotta, I'm gonna, uh, look at a bunch of ideas and, um, I think it's gonna be my, maybe my summer project, maybe my summer project. jump too soon use some pavers and they all crack i'll probably just use regular bricks i'm thinking i also want to maybe get like a little border around it and i also want to get like a base for it too because i don't want to just put the logs on like dirt i don't want to do that so i'm gonna stream the whole thing yeah, probably regular uh, bricks and probably not pavers, but I haven't I haven't like gone to look at the stones I could use yet. I haven't like I haven't gone to look at those yet. Bro, oh my god, I was trying to time the jump and then I fucking fell off the thing. It's gonna turn into Homer making the grill. You shut up. No, it's not. Guy's gonna backseat the building. I, you know, whatever I make, my dad's gonna backseat the shit out of it when he comes back to visit. <laughs> and be like, you could have done that better. That doesn't look so good. I want it to look really nice. I want it to look nice. Okay, you know what I need to do? I need to throw the block sooner. Throw the block sooner. And my dad, my dad's gonna be the one that's gonna shit all over it. There we go. Oh no, that's so hard, man. Shit. I have to redo it. This explains so much about you, does it? It's a liberal fire pit. I've got some idea. Hang on, let me see. Let me let me let me let me look let me look at some stuff here real quick. Uh okay, I kinda like so let me let me look at some stuff here. I know we're we're looking at fire pits in the middle of an SMW stream. Uh why is the and my GeForce experience showed up. Uh, one second here. So like something round is kind of nice. Like something like this is kind of nice. Uh, this is this is tiny here, but uh, something like this is kind of nice. Let me swap over to display. I kind of like this. This would obviously be something more rounded. 
Uh, I, I'm thinking maybe, I think these might just be pavers. I'm not sure. I might make it a little bit wider than that. I'm thinking maybe not quite, maybe not quite like that. I don't think like this would not be hard at all. I kind of want this to be, I want it to be like, oh yeah, it looks good. I think maybe a little bit more in depth than this. And this is a little, maybe this is maybe slightly too simplistic. Um, I'm not going to do so. I'm also not going to do something this complicated. So like, look at this, this one. This, this one's a little much for me. This one's a little much. I do like the back though. So the back on this one, it's uh, the light will get cast against it. I want not quite like this. I think this one, it looks cool, kinda. I, I like the one thing that this thing does, it leaves holes in the bricks itself so that oxygen can get in so it can actually, uh, it can actually get some heat in there for sure. It looks like a bonfire. Looks cool. I don't think I'm gonna quite do this one, but it's kind of interesting, right? Doesn't look that complicated. Yeah, I, I definitely like the idea that it has. Yeah, it allows the fire to breathe. Right, exactly. It looks kind of soy. <laughs> oh, here's another one that kind of looks like that. Oh, see, this is kind of what I was thinking. Maybe something like this. Um, Let's see. Where is this one at? Kind of like the idea of something like this. This one may be a little bit bigger than this, but this one's kind of nice, too. I, I kind of like the square. I, I like the square. Soy fire pit. I kind of like the square, and this one also has the holes for this one. I like the square more than the round. I feel like this one would be pretty easy. Yeah, square is good, I think. And you won't get optimal 360 degree setting. This is such a boomer stream. Use tape, a pentagram that's just a box, but I kind of like the way that looks. I like that one. You like round better? Haven't decided. Haven't decided. Katie and I will talk about it for sure. Right, right. We want, we're gonna, I'm gonna add holes. I also want to get a border around it, maybe like some pebbles or stones like around it all. Uh, that way, like just so there's like a little bit of a buffer between the grass. Go octagon, home improvement streamer. I could probably do it. You could probably be a home improvement streamer. You could probably do that. Uh, G Zico, thank you for the 23 months. Thank you, G Zico. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Now I got George in here. Now I got George in here. Uh, keep an eye out, chat. There may be a cat fight brewing. Georgie. Georgie. Rawr. Why don't you rawr at me, George? Picture of how it's going to look at. That's probably the Homer Simpson one, isn't it? How did you know? I know. I admit I was red. <laughs> you can also build, uh, build bricks by yourself. I got make bricks. I'm not gonna fucking do that, dude. I must mine the stone myself. Let me open a marble quarry. It's a spin, I couldn't tell. Primitive technology guy. Chat thinks they live in Minecraft. I don't think uh, the fire pit's gonna be that hard. I don't think it's gonna be that hard. I do really want it to look nice though. I want it to look really nice. Tailoring the size to fit a standard grade. Here's the thing too. If I do it too well, Katie's gonna want me to do more stuff. So I have to kind of not do it that good. <laughs> There has to be a limit to how good I do it. I don't think I'm in danger of that though. I think that that's just, I think we'll be all right. God damn it. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that.
Uh, for Ray, thank you for the three months. Thank you for Ray. Really appreciate that, dude. I want to see you back at Kaizo already. I mean, uh, I was playing Kaizo SMB3. I played Kamikaze Bros and Rift Bros. I, th I think that qualifies as Kaizo. Sports Enigma. My son is going to make it big enough around me, so mine is rustic, uncut limestone rocks, getting a five foot diameter in a circle. Super easy and gets the job done. It's a whole Christmas tree in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think Jiz Jitsu is a fan of the brutal trolls. I think it's a fan of it. Sport. Last level. It's a quality type of troll. I think it'll look nice. I think it'll look nice. I'll keep you guys posted. I'll take pictures. I haven't even started planning. I want to go to the Home, and De uh, the Home Depot and Home Improvement stores. I want to look at the kinds of bricks. I want to look at what they have. I also have to like, uh, I have to buy like an earth tamper or something. Like it's one of those big flat metal things because I have to like tamp. I have to, first I have to dig up the yard and then I have to uh, like tamp the earth down and make it all nice and even too. Am I going to live stream the build? Probably not. This is Lou Pira music, I just realized. <laughs> Me building the fire pit. I mean, for the most part, it's just putting bricks on top of each other. For the most part, that's what it is, right? It is kind of hard to fuck that up. Like, oh man, the brick's not on top, not in the right spot. Then you just pick it up and put it in the right spot. Yeah, I'm gonna level the ground. I just, I just said I was gonna do that. I just said that. Thank you. Hades two watch party. Oh no. is Kaizo on emulator created super NT? Uh, that depends on your emulator. You can get emulators pretty close to console, but uh, one of the benefits of super NT is uh, the super NT is very accurate playing on a super Nintendo. And then I have to hit that and then go under there. Okay. I can take Kaiser Man and Dan the VP to help build the fire pit. Jeez, man, I don't know the best way to uh, to do that, actually. I don't know the best way to do that. Man. Got to it too early. Yeah, I might, I might, I might be going too fast there slightly. Nintendo's Indie Direct was a waste of time. No shit. 
and people were begging me. People were begging me to watch that shit. Is my type of level just fun platforming? Yeah, it's actually been really fun. I had a great time with it so far. I think Gamble 1 was also really good. Just uh, good hacks, man. Great aesthetics, good music, well-made levels. What's not to like? Man, that uh, jumping off that Bowser statue is kind of rough, actually. Like, I, something is, like, not lining up for me there. Like, I'm doing something in, like, a weird way. And it's causing the spawns to not cooperate. I don't know what it is, though. I don't know, something, I'm doing something weird there. Everything in this hack lines up nicely. So if it's not lining up nicely, then I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Anon's blast for us seems promising. I'm making an extra bounce. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I'm doing something weird there. It sounds like something from Celeste. Uh, this music is from a game called Loop Hero, which if you've never played Loop Hero, dude, that game is awesome. I love Loop Hero. You can uh, pretty frequently get that game on sale. I love Loop Hero, though. Man. That was tough. Dude, Loop Hero is fantastic. It's like it's like worth it alone for the soundtrack, dude. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I think that's what I do. You think Loop Hero is a 10 out of 10? I feel like it's too, I feel like the problem with Loop Hero is that it's such a weird game. I don't know what to compare it to to call it a 10 out of 10. It's kind of a weird game, I think. Whoa, okay. Okay, clicker. It's gonna be hard for me to stay away from Hades 2 stuff. I'm sure I'll hear about it, but uh, I don't know. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about Hades 2, obviously. Oh man, that spike. I think the biggest flaw with Hades is that it is not Mario. <laughs> Have you considered that? The level has some hot platforming. It's not Mario, guys. Come on. Reminds me of the where was where was Obama on September 11th? Damn it, dude. You know what's weird? I don't know any game that tried to copy the style of Loop Hero and make something in that style. I mean, I would say it's probably because Loop Hero is a bit of a sleeper hit, I think. I don't think, uh, I, I mean, and for all I know, I don't even know if it was profitable. Like, maybe it didn't do very well. No idea, honestly.
Uh, are not the creators of Loop Hero, uh, Russian? And, um... I think the Ukraine conflict had some kind of effect on the development or something like that. It had some kind of effect on it. And, like, they, they wanted to do more with it, but they couldn't. Are they, oh, are they Ukrainian or... I don't know. They're, I just... All I remember is that there's something about it that it, it, like, affected the development. They just, like, walked away from it or something like that. Had about 100,000 sales. Yeah, like, the war and the invasion, like, had an effect on it or something. I don't I don't remember if they're Ukrainian or Russian, but something about the effect, the war had an effect on it. It's not a sleeper hit. Do you think it's a major indie? I honestly... I don't know what the sales were. They are Russian. Okay, got you. Their income got pulled when they were considering DLC. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is cool. It sold 60,000 units on the Switch. Yeah, Loop Hero is fantastic. Highly recommend. I don't know how it is on Nintendo Switch, but I imagine it's I imagine it's totally fine. Highly recommend. It's rough. Holy crap. Okay, cool. This is a really cool section. I like this section. It's really hard to say what kind of game Loop Hero is because it's just so unique. It's an auto battler. So like you, you do things like it's an auto battler. So you have to choose your class, you choose your weapons, you choose your loot and stuff. And you, but what you are choosing is what you put on the map. So you like are creating the map itself. Uh, it's a really, it's a really unique, really interesting game. So. Oh, okay. It's a city builder? I mean, not quite. Could it be considered a deck builder? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. This is a rat gym? Probably not. Bam! A reverse tower defense. There's no way these Mario ass shaking emotes. I'm mad that they're around, dude. I'm mad. Those emotes are so much worse than Barb Dumper was. I don't know. I don't think those emotes are long for this world, though. <laughs> Do that and then or the barb dance oh my god the barb dance was outrageous man i can't believe they got rid of that ever hear about the game meets your maker nope <sighs> i've heard of it i get chat every time somebody asks me if i've played a game 
or if I've heard of a game, I get a dime. The new rule. Add another dime. I have at least three dimes. Another dime. Actually, you know what? Second thought, don't because I have that default zombie alert. <laughs> Actually, don't. You played Solitaire. Ten bits the question. Did you watch Fallout? I haven't watched Fallout yet, no. We saw the- I watched the new Shogun episode last night, and that was it. Have you played Mario? I have played Mario. Is there a big earthquake in the original book of Shogun? Yes. Yeah, there was a big earthquake. Thank you for the bits. <sighs> okay, so then go left, get the mushroom. Okay. Demo, but the song is an original composition someone posted in your Discord once. Remember, because I accidentally downloaded it, it's still on my phone. Is it? I have no idea what this is. I've heard a lot of the music on SNW Central, but this one I've never heard. Or at least I don't remember it. this please what is it also wasn't the rule 10 gift subs for a better twitch emote what is this let's take a look barb grill who made this shit already <laughs> fine whatever have it who made this shit already <laughs> oh, yeah. With the fastest You gotta eat those words. You gotta eat those words, chat. Barb grill. It's the Simpsons when when Homer makes the grill, and it's like a pile of trash. That's what he's created. Come on, don't bullshit me. No, I'm not bullshitting you. That's what it is. how 
This is how Gamball 1 ends also. Does it end similarly? like that the hell is Ligril? gg a sick level that was a cool level i agree gg credits is it credits i don't know gg gamer hey gg gamball two you run or jump around playfully too ah uh, wait You really think that was it? Oh, we got fake credits? <laughs> is, this, is this Donkey Kong Country? Let's end this. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Meet me in my domain to take my final test. Oh, boy. Uh, 26 Fury, thanks to sub. Talon B, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Imagine a ROM hack with fake credits. Oh, Earthbound tutorial over. Question mark. Hmm. Quiz Master's Domain. This is it, Luigi. The true final test. Let's find the Quiz Master and kick some ass. Hey, Luigi. Need to find that 500 pound some bitch Quiz Master and get the damn princess. Do the little jumping. What? Where was tea invented? Uh, I believe India. No, is it not? Is it actually just must be China then, right? Cha then. Uh, pup. What's a baby seal called? A pup, right? Hey, Mario. That big old 500 pound son of a bitch. Bear. Bowser just took the damn princess and used all the star power to put everybody in paintings. Now I need you to take your ass inside those paintings and recover the stars with a little bit of jumping, what? A little bit of punching, what? And a little bit of ass whooping, what? To save Princess Peach and that stuff. Must be 1990 then. Cause Stone Toe said so. MG Ska, thank you for oh, thank you for 2,500 bits. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thank you, dude. In British slang, how many pounds is referred to as a monkey? Oi, mate, how many how many pounds in a monkey? Not 50. You got any monkeys? Okay, it's not that either. <laughs> Wait, it's 500 pounds a monkey. How many dots on the Domino's Pizza logo? That's uh three, right? Yeah, I know about Domino's Pizza. What question is this? Uh, the seventh? Gonna need that for some plonk. Enter the fourth. to the fourth what Not the fourth pipe. Enter the fourth. Wait, enter. Is it no? 
Enter the fourth. What's that mean? It's a riddle. Enter the fourth. This is interesting. So what could this mean? Enter the 4th. Go down. Oh. What are you waiting for? What was that? Well, because it was enter the fourth. We mean like enter the four. Is that what it is? I'm, I'm a little confused there. Wait, wait, wait. Did that just appear here? What? <laughs> just wait. Six times 12. Six times two equals 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. What is this? What is happening in this game right now? <laughs> How long does this go on for? Nope, it's not that one. <laughs> All right, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It is twelve. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so coin block plus, plus coin block equals forty. So that means that stands to reason that those are twenty each, right? Coin, coin, plus coin, coin equals 20. So does that mean each one of those is five? So 20. Or are those multiplied? Would those be multiplied then? 1% of people can solve. <laughs> Um, so let's say 20, I mean like 34, but the, I, I'm not sure I might be uh, the second row. I might be overthinking the second row. I think it might be 24. See the second row. What I was thinking is that it would be half of 10 then. So it'd be five. So to me, I feel like the answer would be like 29, right? But it's not 29. Look at the vine. Oh my God, you're right. It's half. So wait, it's half of four. So it's two, so it's 27. I didn't even look at the vine. <laughs> I missed that. Are you having fun? Uh, actually, yes, I am. Yeah, this is fun. I am having fun. My final unbeatable question. Train A and B simultaneously depart from station A and B. Station A and B are 252.5 miles apart from each other. Train A is moving at 124.7 miles per hour towards station B. Train B uh, is... Uh, train B, 153 miles per hour towards station A. Both trains departed at 10 a.m. and it is now 10.08 a.m. How many minutes until the trains pass each other? 16. Nope, it's not right. <laughs> not 30. Not 31. Not 18. Not 32. Bod viewers, skip ahead. Do the math. <laughs> Seriously, screw your damn quiz. I just want to do some jumping. Oh, I should. Okay. Tito, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Thank you, Tito.
I wasn't ready for that. Uh, this feels like Grand Pearl of Light, which I mean as a compliment. Uh, I don't really know how you see that, but... It's definitely been a really fun hack. Sick level. Yeah, it's a pretty cool level. It's got a good flow. Yeah, Grand Pearl 3 is not as inspired as this, like, obviously, right? I am very concerned with how Grand Pearl 3 turned out. Uh, hey, Barb. Uh, hey, Chad. I'm doing well. What's up, Absurd Joe? It, uh, it actually, Grand Pearl 3 does have a math section, actually. <laughs> it does. Nice, Barb. Okay. Okay, I gotta spin and then normal jump. I'm, I'm fucking up the jump there. Uh, Arasic, thank you for the 69 months. Thank you very much. I'm just glad there won't be a grand for four. The, the third entry felt so uninspired. I completely agree with you, man. Totally agree. It's clearly a cash grab. Thank you, Arasic. Thank you, Tito, for the subs. Appreciate that, guys. And I am fucking hungry. I am fucking hungry right now, dude. Hmm. I have, um, I have multiple jars downstairs of spicy salsa. Calling my fucking name. Oh, that pipe, man. That's one forgiving pipe. <laughs> hey, Mario, it's quiz time. Quiz master in the next room. I'm not letting you go in alone. What? Oh, thanks, Toad. Hey, Mario. Dude, raw dog salsa. Last time I had, uh, last time I had salsa. All right, you guys were getting, you're eating, you're eating, uh, you're eating chips, right? And you get the, you're eating salsa chips. And you get down to like the little fragments that it's like impossible to like, it's impossible to put salsa on those chips. So what I was doing was I would just like grab a handful of chips and like, like put the whole thing in and like just put it all in my mouth. I was eating kind of like an animal. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure Katie was looking at me like, oh, <laughs> you monster. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, this, it was too good. I had to, I had to, you get it. Use a spoon. No, the whole hand went into the spike. Katie's not touching, so I don't mind putting my whole hand in there. The foul beast consumes his meal. <laughs> So Toad, uh, Toad's aim here is uh, leaving something to be desired. Damn it. Isn't uh, eating with your hands pretty... Like, some cultures have, like, they, they eat with their hands, like, exclusively or almost always. They don't really have, like, utensils like that, right? Toad needs some glasses.
boss defeated. GG. Now credits. There we go. GG. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, hey, uh, shout out to the sack. Shout out to Jiz Jitsu. Uh, what an uh, what an awesome job. Uh, really, really enjoyed this hack. Really fun. Levels were all well made. Aesthetically top notch. I feel like uh, it's been a while since I played uh, Gamball One, but I feel like uh, it, I, I feel like this this one was a little bit more memorable, and I feel like the level design might have been a bit better. Uh, but yeah, this was a fantastic job. And shout out to the creator. Awesome work. Awesome work. Really enjoyed this one. And Gamball One was also good, but I feel like this one was better for sure. But very, very fun. No, I don't have to be in the credits. That's fine. You don't have to put it. I, I don't have to be in the credits to enjoy a hack. I don't have any kind of ego like that. It's fine. Uh, Jez Jitsu, GG thank you for bar. the 16 months. Hope you enjoyed the hack, my dude, Jez Jitsu. I did. I did. Awesome job, dude. Really fun. Uh, we like it here next. I am planning on playing We Like It Here. I also want to play. Uh, let's see. There's uh, We Like It Here. Uh, there's dead, uh, dead, or excuse me, tormented souls or, or tortured souls too. Uh, there's a new sweet dude hack I might check out. There's also a new VL scoot hack. There's a lot, a lot of stuff to get to. A lot of stuff to get to. Oh, did Dangle do some of the artwork for you on this one? Did he do some of the art? The second one. <laughs> Until next time. Found Mario. Mario's twerking down there. I would like being in the credits. Oh, he did the box art. Oh, okay. Have I seen the box art actually? Have I seen uh, it? Jez, do you have a link to the box art? Take a look at that. I don't know if I have a link to it. The scoot one is wild. It's in the zip file. Oh, okay. Hang on one sec. I didn't notice. I just, I, I was in a rush this morning. So I got the patch and then that was it. Uh, let's see. Uh, so here is the box art by dangle Ooh, oh nice that looks good mario uh, luigi's having a good time on that one gg beautiful look there's the box art for it awesome job do rom max have box art nowadays <laughs> yeah yeah looks good looks good yeah that's hot yeah some nice artwork anyway this was a lot of fun had a great time with this one shout out to the creator uh awesome stuff classic snes artwork right there right there Luigi's pulling the wide people happy. I did not read the booklet. No, I did not read the booklet before playing. I just jumped right in. I was in a rush this morning and then I was, I was running downstairs and yeah, getting coffee. So I didn't, I didn't have time to do that, but that's okay. I uh, had a great time. Had a great time. this. Definitely recommend the play. I made shitty box art for my hack too. Still better than the Mega Man 1 box art. Hey, the Mega Man 1 box art is one of my favorite box arts of all time. 